All hail the Chaos King. Ricky Smith through the water box who has come into this U.S. Nationals to try to throw a Parkway Ford size monkey wrench into the championship chase. This dude would love nothing more than to come in and absolutely disrupt every single champ. He wants every championship contender in successive rounds on Sunday. Just to be that guy. And he's plenty capable of doing it is the best part. Only nitrous car here. Chris Thorne on the other side of the racetrack. Defending world champion. The flat-hooded Pro Charge Bahrain 1 Camaro. Ricky is a controversial figure. I think he thrives on it. Speaks his mind, shares his opinion. You know where you stand with a guy at all times. Sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's a bad thing. And I can speak from personal experience. Smith currently qualified second. Be interesting to see Chris Thorne here and how this car runs and also how they line it up. Obviously, a lot of meeting to the minds down there and a lot of talent in the Bahrain 1 folks. But I saw before the last run... Khaled Albalushi has made his way back up to the starting line. Remember, yep. he had that wild run, low ET of the round, but kind of a wild run. And he and Mark Savage were going over that run, and there was all sorts of, like, arms flailing, you know, fists in the air, hats went flying, and I wonder if uh, they learned anything to make a change. You note know that, and you note know the number of, of people behind the Bahrain 1 car, and then, I mean, Ricky Smith might have grabbed some guy out of the stands down for kind of this weekend. I mean, there's nobody over there. This guy's the man. And old Tricky Ricky is going to be on another one. Thorne is also making good time. Thorne goes 581. Smith goes 575. Four. 253 miles an hour. All hail the king. He is on top. He won the U.S. Nationals 20 years ago. And there is a part of me that loves the chaos of what is happening right now. You can't help but not love it. Even Rick if you don't like the guy, you got to respect the game. Ricky Smith shows up, brings the nitrous bottles, and just drops the hammer on everybody on Friday night. 